everyone today i'm gonna be turning this t-shirt into a cute polo like halter neck top i know it snowed yesterday but i'm still working on my summer wardrobe so keep watching so first thing i went ahead and did is laid the top flat and then i marked with fabric chalk where i wanted to cut so this is what i'm left with i'm gonna go ahead and turn it over we can leave the back closed but i kind of want an open back moment and for that i'm gonna cut from the armpit to the armpit straight across and then at the top behind the neck. So there we go. All I have left is to hem the raw edges. Guys, this is the final product. The way that this turned out amazing. I'm like so obsessed with it. I can't wait to wear this in the summer when it's not snowing. Anyways, thanks for watching. t-shirt no sew up cycle perfect for the summer first you'll want to put the t-shirt on and mark where you want to cut then lay it flat connect your lines and then cut it cut some strips from the excess sleeve and pull them so that you make t-shirt yarn add a safety pin to the end and push it through the remaining parts of the neckband tie the end and hide it in the back portion of the neckband and you are done love 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 this super easy like 10 minutes follow me here and on youtube for more amazing up cycles Since you guys like the last scissors only transformation, here's another one. For this one, we're gonna be using the bottom half of the t-shirt, so cut off the t-shirt right underneath the arms. Now you're gonna cut strips on the side of the t-shirt to the point where the t-shirt fits, cut the ends of the strips and tie them together. And you can leave the ties on the outside or inside, it doesn't really matter, it's all about your aesthetics. I fold over about four to five inches of the t-shirt and make tiny slits all along the edge about one inch apart. Cut a one inch strip from the excess and pull it so it becomes t-shirt yarn. Add a safety pin to the end and weave it through the slits. Tie it in the front or tie it around your neck however you like. I absolutely love this one. I think this one is my favorite for summer. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me here and on YouTube for more amazing upcycles. this shirt and it's a really cute pattern but it's like an awkward length i'll try it on so i want to try to make it into a two-piece set this is what it looks like right now it's a really cute pattern but okay okay so i'm gonna start by laying down a skirt i like the cut of on top of it and then cutting and then just sewing hems so i figured out that this shirt had a whole double lining in it so i cut it out to make straps to make like a strappy on the skirt or something now I have my two little strappies, I'm gonna sew the hem on the top of the skirt. 
just attach the straps to the skirt. No, I just have to do the hem on the shirt. Okay, look how cute. The little straps, some boots, and a you know. I'm gonna show you guys the easiest thrift flip that you can do this summer. All you need is an oversized sweater from your local thrift store. Found this one at Goodwill for $4 and a pair of scissors. Okay, literally all you're gonna do is cut off the sleeves, which actually pains me because this is the nicest quality sweater that I've ever found at a thrift store, but it's just way too hot, so bye-bye. Ta-da! Straight from Urban Outfitters. Also, if you know how to sew a straight line, um, you can just hem this right there, but if you don't want to, I probably won't. It doesn't look like it's gonna fray, so I'm happy with this. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a shirt into a skirt in about 10 minutes. So first off, I'm just laying down a skirt I already have to trace around and I lined up the bottom hems so I don't have to hem the skirt at the end because it saved me even more time. And you want to make sure you have seam allowance on the sides and leave enough room at the top to fold over your waistband. So I'm just sewing the sides together and then folding the waistband over the same width that my elastic is and I pinned it and then I'm using a zigzag stitch to sew it. You can use any stretch stitch, but you wanna leave a gap in the waistband so you can thread your elastic through. I used a bodkin tool for this, but you can also use a safety pin. And then you're just gonna to wanna to sew that elastic together and cover up the gap that you left and you're done. Thank you. 